Hey guys, so today I'm coming at you with a bit of a different video looking at the top mods or modifications for your Dodge Charger. I did a video like this a long time ago, maybe three or four years back, and now I figured it was time for an updated one with better mods on the list and a whole lot of new updated photos. I get questions all the time about what people can do to modify their Dodge Charger to make them look better, so today we will cover about 10 visual modifications that you can do to any model Charger from 2006 to 2021. This will be a part 1, I couldn't include everything as I have tons more ideas, so I do intend on making a part 2, as well as one for the Challenger and maybe even the 300 as well. For each I will talk about the modification, including the price range and any important details. I've also hunted far and wide to try to bring you guys some really good images for each one. I will also put as many links as I can find in the description in case you want to find the mods yourself. I'm not sponsored or partnered with anyone except for Lux Auto but those links are just there to help you guys find them easier. Also, if there's anything in this video that you see and you like, leave a comment and I can try my best to see exactly where I got that specific picture from or where the exact mod was from. So hope you guys enjoy and let's get on with it. So the first and most obvious thing you can do is change your rims and go for wider tires, or if you have a Scat Pack or SRT model, you can still fit wider wheels on those stock rims. It's often said that your outfit is assessed from your shoes up and the same goes for the Dodge Charger. Even a basic looking charger can look 10 times better with some nice wide wheels. The most common size rims are 20 or 22 inches with 275mm wide front tires and 295, 305 or even 315mm wide tires in the rear. That will get you a nice wide stance that just looks incredible on these big vehicles. As for the wheels, 20 by 9 or 20 by 9.5 inches in the front and 20 by 10, 10.5 or even 11 in the rear looks phenomenal, especially if you choose a nice design that flows well with the rest of the car. Pricing will usually run around $1,000 for a set of rims and tires can go in pretty much any range depending on how high end you choose to go. But when looking to mod your charger, this should definitely be the starting point. The next mod idea on the list would be racing stripes. This is something that you can install yourself if you know what you're doing, or it could cost around $400 to $500 at a wrap shop professionally done. When it's done right, almost every charger with stripes that I've ever seen looks amazing. My preference would be dual stripes that are 10 inches wide each, as these just suit the charger body perfectly no matter what year it's from. My preference would be dual stripes that are 10 inches wide each, as these just suit the charger perfectly. Another good thing is that these work with any body style, and you can pair pretty much any color that you think works. So if you think your charger looks boring, this is something that will instantly turn heads for not a whole lot of money. You can even get more creative with the stripes, as I've seen different designs and patterns used, like carbon fiber material or a honeycomb finish. I'm a sucker for a front splitter, but honestly I just think it makes the front end of the chargers look really unique, and there are a few different options. These just transform the front end and give the car a really aggressive look. Some of the top options out there are from Ventus Auto Works, ZL1, add-ons, 3G Customs, and APR Performance, and there are varying options like the finish, type of support rods, rubber edge trim, attachable winglets, and more. You can go for a huge one that sticks out quite a bit with supporting rods, or you can go for a smaller lip splitter, but either way both will give it a distinct look even from afar. Of course not everyone may like this look, but if you're doing a few other mods to the car, the splitter matches up very nicely. These usually start at around 250 US for a good one, and they can go up from there depending on the brand, the finish, carbon fiber, etc. There's also a whole variety of cheaper ones that you can find on Amazon or eBay. To match the splitter in the front end, you can grab a rear diffuser. This is a piece that fits below the rear bumper between the exhaust tips, and it usually has a fin-like appearance, adding some flair to the back of the vehicle. On the chargers, these look great. Again, there are various types to choose from. Some are a little outrageous, some are made of different materials, and some have different types of edging and trim. These usually start for around $200 US on websites such as KNG Wraps or Ventus Auto Works, and there are also tons of cheaper options on Amazon or eBay once again. The Wicker Bill Spoiler is another really popular mod that goes on the trunk in place of a regular spoiler. Some people actually add this on top of regular spoilers on the older chargers. This basically angles outwards and can be had in a variety of styles, like two or three pieces, with glass, with tinted glass, rounded material, a duckbill style, and more. These usually start at around $150 USD, again found from many of the same companies you will hear throughout the video, like KNG Wraps, ZL1 add-ons, and BMC Extreme Customs. There's no question that the charger looks better with a wicker bill, so if you want to stand out, this is definitely something to consider adding. 
Now the next part of the car to modify would be the hood. Now some chargers do come with pretty sweet hood stock, like the older SRT8 models, or the newer Scat Packs and Hellcats. However, for many other lower trim chargers, changing the hood can make a huge difference. The hood is one of the first thing anyone notices about your car and it's front and center. There are many many design options for the hood. You can go for a sniper, ram air, demon style, the hellcat style, and countless others. The material can also vary from aluminum to carbon fiber. The wide variety results in a large price range, anywhere from $500 to $2,000 depending on the manufacturer and materials used. Some reputable shops include Black Ops Auto Works, BMC Extreme Customs, and Fast Hemis. I recommend not going cheap on this. Some of the cheaper options like Duraflex use lower quality materials, and many people have reported cracking or the material breaking, and others say it doesn't fit right or requires lots of work from a shop to get it aligned properly. To go along with your hood, there are also hood pins. A variety of companies make these, including Mopar themselves, and there are both real ones where you have to drill into your hood and they are functional in keeping the hood down, and also fake ones that just go on top of the hood for the look. You can also add the cables that curl down into the grill area. Many like these hood pins for an older school look, and they're even more popular in a Challenger as well. They are also functional if you do have an aftermarket hood, to keep it from possibly coming off at higher speeds if the hood latch had to be removed or it didn't work properly with your new hood. This next mod is a bit controversial, and I say that because people either love them or hate them. This would be louvers. These were originally designed to reduce the glare produced by highly angled windscreens, like on the old classic Mustang. They also let less sunlight in, which keeps the interior cooler. However, now they are mostly just for style, and there are no aerodynamic or performance benefits provided by them. And they are also not illegal in any country or US state, so you're good to go if you want to add them. If you're looking to change everything you can, you may as well try louvers. They look pretty decent on all models of the Charger, beginning at $200 and going up from there. I wanted to throw in a little bit of variety here, so this is something you can do to dress up your calipers for those that don't have a Charger that comes with big Brembo brakes. There are a few different options, caliper covers, caliper paint, or going to a big brake kit. Assuming that you don't want to spend thousands on a big brake kit, that leaves a cover or paint. I honestly wasn't a big fan of the covers, but I did find one company on Instagram by the name of CCI Auto who makes covers that actually look very good. There's also the option of using high temperature paint which also looks really good, and it usually lasts a few years at least. The covers will run you at least $150, and paint is a similar price if you get it professionally done. We will end off with a simple mod actually for any Mopar, and it's the cheapest on today's list, that would be a sunroof decal. Most chargers do have a sunroof, and if you want to leave no spot untouched, why not grab a decal for it? I've worked with Lux Auto Concept before, and they do make a fantastic sunroof decal for the charger. You can also use code MARSPEED to get 5% off your entire order on their website. They offer great customization, like flag style, flag color, optional logo, or even custom ones as well. Starting at $72, it's a very nice way to customize your charger and make it more unique. So that's the end of today's video guys, these are the first 10 mods to do to your Dodge Charger of any year from 2006 to 2021. As I said before, there are tons more mods that I haven't yet covered, so let me know if you do want to see a part 2 and maybe even a part 3. One of the best things about the Chargers is that there's just so much aftermarket support for all the models, and tons of customizing to be done that can make your Charger really unique and stand out from the rest. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, and make sure to like and subscribe for all your Mopar content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.